Welcome back to All Real Estate, All the Time with Whitney Nicely, where we teach you the ins and outs of buying real estate in Knoxville. Now, here's Whitney. All right, so I just got a really funny text message from my brother, and, you know, it's pretty early in the morning, but my mom is on this kick where we're making homemade ice cream at the lake on Saturdays. And so, you know, when I leave the studio, I run by the grocery store or the farmer's market or, you know, the side stand and I find something to make ice cream. All right. I was thinking blackberry. Well, my brother earlier this spring planted cherry tomatoes and squash plants. And we have been eating (laughs) squash and cherry tomato in every way possible. So he wants to make the ice cream out of squash. That was his suggestion in the text message I just got. Uh, Tyler, I'm voting you down on that. (laughs) Yeah, I'm going to stop and get some more peaches. (laughs) We're having peach homemade ice cream. If anybody wants to come up, you're more than welcome. But please RSVP. (laughs) Definitely has to be a fruit. I feel like, oh man. Mama wants to make banana. Have you ever had banana homemade ice cream? No, but I'd try that. I would not try squash, but I would definitely try <laughs> banana. There is butternut pie, so there is a precedent for dessert squashes. Oh, squash. But like yellow squash? Like pumpkin like, pie, butternut, butternut pie. Have I've you had, ever had vinegar pie up on Clinch yeah. Mountain? No. Okay, no. everybody needs to go to the top of Clinch Mountain. There's a truck stop up there. I'm a trucker. My mom owns Walker's Truck Contractors, okay? If, by the way, if anybody needs any gravel for a plan, a site plan, or a driveway, or a road, or whatever... She has gravel and will travel, and it's 865-933-0225. But, okay, so my family knows where all the good truck stops are. And on top of Clinch Mountain, there's this old diner, and it dates back to the Depression. People didn't have lemons to make lemon pie, but they had plenty of vinegar. They are putting vinegar in everything, so they came up. These East Tennesseans came up with a way to make vinegar pie, and they still serve it up there on Clinch Mountain. And on Fridays, they have a little honky-tonk band. Is it the same one from 1930 because they can't sell it? (laughs) What else is in it? Is it just like vinegar and cream? I don't know. (laughs) Okay, I'm going to Clinch Mountain. I'm bringing one. (laughs) Everybody needs a vinegar pie in their life. Okay, but let's get back to real estate. All right, Ashley is in here with me today, and she has been working. She's a new investor. She's trying wholesaling first, right? Even though I've told her there's no money long-term in wholesaling. Right. (laughs) But we started this conversation a minute ago, and it was basically, you know, I put $1,500 into a half-acre piece of land. It's zoned industrial. I rent it to my neighbor. I actually just rent the driveway to my neighbor, and I make $250 a month. And I understand... 250 a month may not change your life, but I've got, you know, four different ways that it could start to change your life. You could use that 250 to go get your hair and nails done every month, and that way you're pretty on somebody else's tab. And I mean, that sounds good to me. Yeah, I do it. <laughs> the second way is to use that for your car payment. I mean, a lot of people have a 200, 300, 400 dollar car payment, and if more than half of it is being paid by somebody else, you're pretty much driving for dollars for free. You know, maybe use part of that for your gas budget for the month. I mean, you could use 250 on your car every month and it would be awesome. Definitely. Or the third thing that you could do with this money is put an extra 250 towards your principal mortgage on your primary house. And just think about if you put an extra 250 every month towards the principal, you should pay off a 30 year mortgage in like 20 years, maybe even less, depending on the interest that you're paying and how you're compounding and how far you in you are into that mortgage already. The fourth thing, and this is what I really want you to do, is I want you to save that 250 a month so that you invested 1500 in six months, you got 1500. So you're whole and clear in a year, you have $3,000. So you've doubled down on your investment. Now you have $3,000, you can go buy a full acre. And let's say you can buy a full acre for $500 a month. Then again, it takes six months to get your initial three grand back. In another six months, you got double your money again. So now we're two years later, we're bringing in 750 a month. We have all of our money and now we have six grand. So we can go buy two or three acres and rent that for $1,000 a month. Just using this small scale, you should be able to double down every time you buy and double down on your rent every time you put it back out there, if you use my formulas. So in three years, we have all of our money back and we're bringing in about 1750 a month. And I know when I talk to ladies, 1750 does start to change your life. The first yeah. year it was 250, the second year it was 750, the third year it's 1750 a month and that starts to change your life because that is your full mortgage payment. That might be you and your husband's car payment. 
that may be just knowing that you can go on maternity leave and know that you're bringing in almost two grand a month and we're not going to be struggling anymore and think about how ladies go back to the first year you graduated college all right and you're in your first job you're in the second job right before you turn 30 and if you're like me you know i'm bringing in when i was in my regular job i was bringing in two grand a month a lot of people are in that boat so if you're bringing in almost two grand a month after three years if you just quit investing at that point or you're bringing in two grand a month working 40 hours a week then you get married you decide you want to have babies i mean it's easy to leave that and just be a stay-at-home mom and just start reinvesting redoubling down on land i mean real estate makes so much sense once you break it down and really think about it and that's what i think and you can tell me ashley that's what i'm good at is telling women how to make more money with less time or with the time that they have and making more money yeah and the money that you have like that's that's another scary hurdle because you're like I I, I need fifty thousand dollars or a hundred thousand dollars to buy a house outright before I can start investing. Maybe one day when I quit my job I'll start investing. No, but if you just have a little bit of money, and start investing now so you can quit your job and still be making the same money or more. Exactly. Just by renting land, and then when you get into houses it gets a little more complicated. But everybody wants to say they talk to me all the time. You know, when I get my house paid off, then I'm going to start buying rental houses. No buy a quadplex and let four people chip in towards your mortgage there's nothing wrong with that that's smart and smart women get ahead and that's what i want to work with i want to work with smart women who want to get ahead in life they don't want to depend on somebody else and they don't want to depend on a regular job and regular jobs are kind of boring awful. <laughs> we had so much fun <laughs> running around and doing real estate that i i you would have to force me into a regular job now oh i bet i mean just spending one day running around with you has been incredible (laughs) just learning so we're gonna do another day like this and uh, we're actually gonna have kind of a video crew follow me around because I do I have this option that you can come and spend a whole day with me and (laughs) you better start drinking your coffee early because I get started early the phones start ringing early and she moves fast (laughs) I need more coffee already (laughs) so we we hit the ground running and for a day with me I would say you will learn about two weeks worth of real estate information enough that you really need to bring a friend so that you can both learn at the same time and then cross-reference everybody when you get back that's also what's cool about the program that I have it's videos and they're online and if I say something and you need to hear it five different times you can just watch the video five different times until it sinks in I have one of my ladies and she listens to me go to sleep like that's how she goes to sleep at night like so osmosis, i don't know it's gonna... <laughs> i don't know if that's that i'm putting her to sleep <laughs> or if it is the osmosis thing. <laughs> yeah <laughs> she's gonna start sounding like me pretty soon <laughs> so that's how i want you to make money in real estate i want you to put not your whole life savings in i want you to save up a little bit and really when you buy land the only difference between buying land and apartments is the amount of money The process is the same. It's a four step process. And once you just put those steps into motion, you start getting the leads coming in. You know, I have weeks where we have so many leads coming into Whitney buys houses. I just can't get to all of them. And then life happens and then I'm a week behind and then I've got 50 houses to go look at. (laughs) I need some help. (laughs) It's a good problem to have. It's fun though. And that's, that's what I'm gonna teach you is how to get these leads coming in so that you, what I don't wanna do is build a team under me. I don't want 50 ladies working for Whitney Buys Houses. I want you to go out and create your own empire. I want you to go out and know that you can do this anywhere in the country, not just in Knoxville. And if you are in Knoxville, that's fine. I'm working on the east side of Knoxville. I'm out in Jefferson County. There's a good chance we will never cross paths. We can share deals if you want to. I have a lady that's working with me and she likes Hardin Valley. I don't even want to go out there. I think downtown is West Knoxville. (laughs) <laughs> okay i don't want to go to hardin valley so if i get anything over there i just toss it to her yeah and it works out really well Teamwork. what what other questions do you have for me um well so let's say i found a house and i'm like well i think that would be a great investment and i want to make an offer do i call them and make an offer over the phone do i email it do i send them a fax like a fax what do i do Did yeah you just say fax uh, some people might have a fax machine <laughs> <laughs> Nobody has a fax machine, Ashley. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just saying, as okay. an expert, like, how would you, how would you? Well, first of all, and this is where a lot of new investors are talking to me. And they're like, yeah, I found a great deal. And I was like, really? What kind of formula did you use? Crickets. Nothing. 
they have nothing to say to that. They look at me like, oh, yeah, my formula. And they try to make something up real quick. And I can tell that they're scrambling. They don't have a formula. I have a formula. I know if it's going to be a good investment based on the numbers. And I don't care what the story is. I don't care what kind of memories they have. That doesn't equal money for me. Okay, I have a formula that I go by, and that's what I'm going to teach you so that you don't have to run it by me to make sure it is a good investment. And I don't have to get the touchy feelies about it because it's just math. And if the math works out, it's going to be a good deal. But you get that good deal. You're talking to them. I want to go out and look at it. I want to talk to them face to face. I don't give them any offers on the phone the first time. And I, I really want to be face to face. I think that's where the best Gotcha. offers come from so no facts face to face no facts. <laughs> no vaccine all right you're listening to all real estate all the time and we're taking questions for new investors this is whitney nicely with all real estate all the time <laughs>